The new HMS client is uniquely fitted with a number of automatic systems on board. She's an incredibly technical ship. Well, the first HMS client had a ship's company of nearly 270 officers, ratings and marines. Whereas HMS Clyde will have only 34. That is almost an eight-fold decrease in personnel. That is made up for with technology. Uniquely to HMS Clyde, she's been fitted with a helicopter deck. So part of that training will involve intent helicopter trials to prove that we can efficiently and effectively operate helicopters as required. HMS Clyde is quite well armed. And I'm really pleased um, that VT have adapted a number of um, tailored training packages for my ship's company so that the personnel are fit for task. Of note, HMS Clyde will sail to the Falkland Islands with an embarked VT engineer as part of the ship's company. Having the VT engineer on board, I feel will be a really unique and beneficial factor and I think it could prove to be a deciding factor on how successful HMS Clyde is when she's on station in the Falkland Islands. There's a long and deep relationship between the people who live and work in the Falklands and, and the forces. A really strong and enduring relationship with, with the Navy in particular. But seeing the Clyde here to replace the Castle class would, would be a fantastic event and, and people will really look forward to that. And if the Clyde could be here for 